Would you mind I, signing the petition? Yeah, no, I, I don't want to sign your You don't want to legalize animal cruelty? want to legalize cruelty. Yeah, we want to legalize it. Want to. Well, I mean, it's already illegal, you know? Like, what they do to cows and... I don't understand your philosophy. Well, like, you know the chicks, like, all the male chicks that are born to the egg industry? You know what they do to them, right? I don't. Well, they put them in the gas chambers or they like throw them into blenders because like they're boys and they're never going to lay eggs. So like they have no reason to like keep them around. Right. So, so like it's already it's already illegal. Them or you're just saying We're just trying to point out that they aren't protected in the first place. And we have this like ridiculous law that's against animal cruelty. In this video series on bees, I've explored the lives and fascinating abilities of only a few of around 20,000 existing species. I've spent some time covering the environmental impact of honeybees as an agricultural animal, both for honey and artificial pollination. But the past few weeks I have hardly touched on the ethical implications of this, other than labeling some practices such as wing clipping and artificial insemination as cruel. And it's about time I elaborate and back up this claim. Hello everyone, my name is Joy and today I will be talking about a bee's ability to experience suffering. Looks like they may have been unloading here, so I'm not sure what we're going to find here, but I have to give it a go. This is the fifth place that I've tried to access. So this farm was more disgusting than I expected. Of all the farms I've been to, this one was the filthiest. There were turkeys covered in feces. This bird here is covered in crap. Dirty, dirty. Look, people eat these birds. Crap all over them. And the floors and walls were splattered with diarrhea. Look at that, dude. Look at all this shit. The prosecutor is asking him about uh, whether the animal's being tortured. And the guy is just talking about his like the monetary value of the pig rather than the whether the actual pig actually has any like intrinsic moral worth um which i thought was interesting it's so interesting how he doesn't even seem to be self-aware of that mm. because the um, he asks him like so do you do you care about the pigs and he's like of course i do they're my only means of income <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> but he, and, and i think, then, he, like, I think he even again, explicitly said i think he even explicitly said like that's the only value they have yeah, he, he probably said something like that, but he's like asked twice in a row, I remember. Yeah, and yeah. twice in a row, he says, of course I care about them. They're my only means of income. Mm. Um, it's brutally hot, especially being packed with all of their other friends on top of one another. Like this truck comes from Ontario, Canada. They've been on this truck without food or water for 24 hours straight. Completely crammed and packed into this truck. Like I can feel right here. Like it's it's so hot. Like look at how desperate they are for this water right here. Look at this. <laughs> I want to say it's like over 100 degrees in there. It is so hot. How many do you think is in here? Oh my God, they're packed. They're packed. I would say at least 100. Some of the garbage that they have listed up on this sign. Pick your own. Farm fed. Freshly slaughtered. Basically, they're saying you can go pick your own murder victim and watch the animal kill get killed right in front of you. 